Stop on red, looks like it's green, let's go. <laughs> Middle of nowhere, traffic light. <laughs> So here we are riding our bikes, la di da di da, and we look to the right and we see this epic spot right here called Kirkham Hot Springs. And we want to make some ground today. We want to get somewhere else, but we're like, maybe we should go there. What do you think? I think we should go there. We should go there, even though it's going to make our day longer. This is so, so beautiful. And this is why we're doing this. Yeah. This is why we're doing it slow. essentially like taking a hot shower. It's perfect. Jumping in the water was awesome, but right when I hit the water, I felt this necklace go over my head. And I was immediately, oh my God, where's my necklace? This is not just any necklace. My friend Danny in West Virginia gave me this on my first cross country tour in 2009. It stands for courage, wisdom, and strength. I've had it around my neck ever since, and I just about had a freak out here. It's been about 10 minutes searching this little area for the necklace, and I found it. Oh, and it feels so good. Danny, you're still with me, buddy. Allie is adding a touch of gourmet to our beans, and by gourmet, I mean she's heating them up. <laughs> Thank you, Allie. You got a girlfriend who loves fire. After bathing in the hot springs, we originally thought that we would just keep on going down the road, but then we're like, you know what, this is a great place to camp. And what really sealed the deal is that our campsite has its own private hot springs tub. Camp, hot spring, alley. It really does not get any better than this. Later tonight, we are going to take off all of our clothes and sit in this hot spring underneath the stars and the nearly full moon. And it's gonna be dreamy. Don't they have like roadside motels with like heart-shaped tubs? This is pretty much what we have right there. Cheers to our hot beans. <laughs> hot beans and hot springs. Feels like we're cheating. Like it's too nice. What a way to wake up, huh? Good morning, Allie. Today is a special day because today, in Colorado at least, is bike to work day. What are we gonna do? I think we should bike to work today, Ryan. Yeah, I think we should bike for work. This is our Ooh, job. Ooh, like yeah, that? bike for work. Hi ho, hi ho. It's off to bike to work we go. Uh oh, red light. This highway is just like a dream. We're both loving it. Very little traffic, lots to look at. How are you liking the hills? Oh, they're perfect. Not too steep, but enough to make you work for it. Idaho, we are fans of you. This is my first time here, by the way, and I'm really enjoying it. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the Sawtooth Mountains. I've heard about these mountains, and I've just never been here. Now that I see them, they definitely look, looks like a sawtooth. Little jagged cliffs, little peaks here and there. A Little bit of snow, it's fun to see snow. two reasons why Allie stops on the side of the road. One of them is to pee, the other is to pick flowers to put in her hair. I found yellow flowers and I found pink flowers. That one looks nice, that one looks great. I have two more flowers, where should they go? I don't know, in your ears? Here? Oh, down here. Up the mountain, I'll push you. I'll give you a little boost. You're off. We've been climbing and climbing and climbing and climbing for like 11 miles. 
and the sign back there says 7,200 feet. This is the highest we've been on the ride so far. I think it's called Banner Pass. We're heading down into Stanley now. Now we're on top, and when you're on top of anything, that means there's only one way to go, and that's downhill, and it's awesome. Some of you ask where we get our water. Sometimes we get it from gas stations. And sometimes we get it from babbling brooks. This is the best water because it's cold. Straight from the mountain. Ah, oh, it tastes so good and cold. And my feet are numb because I've been standing in it. We've got some Discovery Channel stuff going on here. We stopped to pump water, came back to the bikes, and there's a spider on my pannier who looks like he just caught a fly for lunch. A bright green fly. Nature is neat. We just rolled into Stanley, Idaho. We went to the ice cream shop. It was closed, so then we went to the grocery store and look what we found. Fish food, our favorite ice cream. It was $7. <laughs> but luckily, we didn't look at the price before we bought it. Fish food, so good, yum, yum. Allie, what's happening? Well, I crashed my bike going about 1.5 miles an hour. <laughs> just kind of ran into Ryan and flipped over. I did like a... It was like a full flip. Yeah, so I impressive. looked back and she was upside down. It was like, how did you do that? I don't know. I don't have an answer to that question, but I did bust my hands let's see, up. Let's see your hands. Oh yeah, you bust your hand, turn on your leg. Your leg looks like you got shot by something. I got shot. You got a, shot by a pellet there. My bike likes to attack my legs. All the campgrounds around here are full. They're all ridiculously beautiful, so that's understandable, but we met the camp host here, Susan, and she has just been incredibly kind and generous. She's letting us camp in her lot behind her trailer, and she also brought out a whole first aid kit for me so that I can tend to my wounds. I keep on saying that this campsite's the best site, but this one really might be the best site. Look at that. That is insane. <laughs> Allie, we scored once again every single day the good world is taking care of us this is incredible This is definitely our coldest morning. It is freezing. <laughs> and uh, I just looked at the thermometer over here. It's 40 degrees, which makes sense because we're at 7,000 feet elevation. I had no idea we were so high. Good morning. Oh, good morning. <laughs> if you're not gonna wash your hair for weeks on end, you have to brush it really well because it distributes the oils nicely. We met a nice guy in the campsite last night that pointed us to these old ruins. He said, they're from 11,000 years ago, which is just after the Ice Age. It's an antelope. Let's see his legs, little tail. I think this is probably where the smoke went up from their fire. Either that or some punk teenagers built a fire in here like 20 years ago. You don't see 11,000 year old ruins very often in the United States. No crashies, no flatties, no whammies, no whammies. Big money, big money, here we go. We are being pleasantly surprised today by a nice downhill grade. Lots of climbing yesterday, it's paying off now. We're following the Salmon River through a beautiful canyon. Mountains on the left, river on the right. And it's Thursday. Happy Thursday, everybody! Woo! Happy Thursday to my cruisers! If I had a bell and a horn, I would ring it and honk it. Here we go, another day on planet Earth. Really enjoying riding right next to this river. We're literally just a couple feet away from it. You 
You can hear the water flowing through the rocks, the rapids. Very, very soothing. stopped off in this tiny town of Clayton where the sign proudly says there are seven people who live here and it sounds like it used to be an old silver mining town a silver smelter actually they've got a couple old buildings an old mercantile I like it it's got a good feel to it it's fun to put yourself back in time when these towns were thriving and just to feel like what it must have been like. I mean, the population was huge. There were lots of prospectors out here. This was the Wild West. This is where people were making their fortunes. And there's this cool town park right here with a baseball diamond, lots of green grass being cut by a dude with a tiny lawnmower. And I asked the guy in the store, who's the poor guy that has to mow the lawn with the tiny lawnmower? And he's like, we got him a riding lawnmower. He just likes to use the push mower because this town doesn't have a gym. So he he does this on his own accord and comes out here and takes care of this tiny park. I say good for that dude. If he wants to mow the lawn with a tiny push mower, then let him do it. If it brings you joy, do it. It's like us riding bikes across the country. A lot of people think that's crazy, right? Why don't you just drive across the country? No, we like riding bikes. I think it's hilarious. That's a very good analogy, my dear. gone about 30 miles from where we started this morning and it looks like a completely different world it's a lot more deserty I'm seeing the sagebrush again not nearly as lush and green and full of trees lots of great color Hello, horses. one of the fun activities we do is we stop on the side of the road for historical markers and this one is especially interesting to me because I remember when I was in elementary school learning about the Native Americans learning about how they would run buffalo off cliffs as a way to kill many of them at a time and I guess this area right here is a spot where that happened where they had the bison jump where they would round them up with horses and just essentially run them off a cliff kind of a brutal thing to do I guess but it's a lot easier than bows and arrows and hunting them for hours mm -hmm. 